the areas that I've been concentrating are in the Transantarctic Mountains, which run along through here, just past the South Pole. 98% of Antarctica is covered with ice. Geologist John Googe studies the 2% that's not. What we're doing is finding places along this part of the Transantarctic Mountains where there, these glacial deposits are found, and we're sampling those to pick up pieces of rocks that we can hopefully give us some examples of what's uh, further under the ice sheet. Googe and his colleagues are supported by the U.S. Antarctic Program, which is managed by the National Science Foundation. They study rocks from Antarctica to better understand how this desolate continent has formed and changed over time. Traveling by helicopter, plane, and snowmobile, his team collected samples from a dozen sites spanning more than 1,200 miles of mountainous terrain. Sometimes their destinations had to change because of harsh weather and aircraft availability. One of the first jobs is to set up shelter. This is at a site called Mount Akronar, which turned out to be reasonably productive. Googe is back at the University of Minnesota Duluth, processing the samples. That's about 2,500 pounds of rock material. They use a scanning electron microscope to study mineral textures and composition. So there's a whole lot of other history about the rock and therefore the crust of Antarctica that we can learn. Things like the history of ancient supercontinents. Some of these glacial deposits we've been finding seem to confirm the idea that Antarctica and North America would have been neighbors at one time. Googe says the frozen landscape of Antarctica is actually an important place to study the health of the planet, including the impact of global climate change on ice sheet stability. If we can understand what's happened in the past, we have at least a way or a framework to be able to say what might happen in the future. And then, of course, with respect to climate change, the question is what extra role do humans play? Science on ice. For John Googe, this frozen landscape is full of ancient clues just waiting to be interpreted. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.